Good day, my scholars. Welcome to my school channel. My name is Alexandra. So we'll be tackling the jump pass question for the subject English Language Year 2016. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us, and we'll be right back. school channel so we'll be tackling the question from 61 to 75 now let's begin with question 61 the word in capital letter of the emphatic stress choose the option to which the given sentence relates my house is a bungalow option a is my house a terrace option b was my house a bungalow option c is my house the bungalow option d is his house a bungalow the answer to this question is option a do not forget that emphatic stress the options are usually a question form and then the word emphasized is usually changed. So the option should have a word that is quite different from what has been emphasized. So we have terrace and the word is bungalow. Uh, unlike option B, C and D, we still have the word bungalow in the option. So option A therefore is the correct answer to this question. Question 62 to 65 comes with a passage. But then you could read the passage by clicking on the link in the description below. It takes you to my school website. There you can have full access to the passage. Or you could pause this video as it is being displayed on the screen. Do not forget to read properly for a better understanding. Now let's jump right into question 62. Which of the following statements is true according to the passage? Option A, suspicion often stimulates inquisitiveness. Option B, every human conduct often give rise to curiosity. Option C, our environment always inhibits curiosity. Option D, curiosity is effective when there is no room for it. Now you see that if you read this passage, you conclude that option A is the correct answer to this question. Why? Because um, the word inquisitiveness and curiosity is used interchangeably. Okay, and it tells us that it is stimulated by jealousy first. And then this passage states that it is also stimulated by suspicion or the, the suspicion or hint that these discussions or side discussions directly or indirectly related to us or directly and indirectly concerns us. So option A therefore is the correct answer to this question. Question 63. The word absorbed as used in the passage means option A disturbed, option B engrossed, option C covered, option D entailed. Now the word absorbed in the passage means interest greatly or, or to take in one's attention now the word engross also means to take up one's attention so option b is the correct answer to this question question 64 from the passage it can be deduced that curiosity thrives option a through conduct that are inimical to our activities option b if we are able to probe into what others are thinking option c only if we become suspicious of people's motives option d if the subject of discussion is of interest to us now the answer to this question is option C. Almost at the end of this passage, we see that personal interest is not considered as pure curiosity. Now from the beginning of this text, we get the picture that suspicion is often stimulates curiosity. So it is the only reason why curiosity or inquisitiveness takes place. Okay, so option C is the correct answer to this question. Do not forget to take practice questions with our simulated Jam CBT Pass questions. All you need to do is you click on the link in the description below. It takes you to the My School website. There you can download My School mobile app for your Android phones, or you could download My School software for your computers and laptops. So go ahead and download and start practicing these questions. Now moving on to question 65. The author seems to suggest that curiosity is option A, misleading, option B, inborn, option C, learned. Option D, acquired. The answer to this question is inborn. Now, from the beginning of the passage, we learn that curiosity is as clear and definite as urges. What are urges? Urges are strong desires. Okay, we get this feeling from the beginning of the passage that curiosity exists from birth. Okay, everybody is curious to do to know certain things, to to listen to discussion, and feels that every discussion indirectly or directly concerns them. So, option B, therefore, is the correct answer. 
I believe you are enjoying this content. If you are, do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button and tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos. Question 66 to 75 comes with a passage, so I would advise you click on the link in the description. Also, it takes you to the MySQL website. There you can have full access to the passage or you could pause as it's been displayed on the screen. Do not forget to read properly for a better understanding. Now let's jump right into question 66. Choose the most appropriate option for the gap labor 11 above. So option A, agitators, option B, witnesses, option C, congregations, option D, spectators. The answer to this question is option D, spectators. If you read this register, you will see that the register or the passage has to do with boxing match. Okay, so the people who gather around to watch the match are called spectators. Okay, so option D is the correct answer to this question. Question 67. Choose the most appropriate option for the gap labor at 12. Now, option A, stage. Option B, circle. Option C, track. Option D, ring. Now, if you're following this passage, you see that this part has to talk about the particular spot where the boxers have to um, fight one another. Okay, so it is actually called ring, not stage, not circle, not track. In this context, because it has to do with boxing, it is called ring. Okay, so option D is the final answer to this question. Question 68, choose the most appropriate option for the gap labeled 13 above. So option A, we have bouts, option B, match, option C, performance, option D, contest. Now, when you read this passage, you see that in that particular point where um, labeled 13, you see that it's trying to point out to a short period of um, activity or intense activity. Okay, so it is called bout in boxing. Okay, option A, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Question 69, choose the most appropriate option for the gap labeled 14 above. Option A, assailants. Option B, disputants. Option C, contestants. Option D, brawlers. Now, the answer to this question is contestants. Now, if you're following this passage, you see that in this particular part labeled 14, the writer is trying to talk about one of the boxers. Okay, so they are called contestants. Okay, and as assailants is one who attracts another, a disputant is one who argues. A contestant is one who competes in a competition. A brawler is one who engages in um, noisy fights. So the answer to this question is option C, contestants. Do you have questions you would like to ask? You can ask your questions by using the link in the description below. Click on this link, it takes you to the MySchool website. There you can ask as many questions as possible and solutions will be provided to you within a short period of time. Now let's move, move on to question 17. Choose the most appropriate option for the gap labeled 15 above. Option A, leveled. Option B, groomed. Option C, sparred. Option D, staged. The answer to this question is groomed. If you read this passage, you discover that in that particular part labeled 15, we see that the writer is trying to describe a, con a contestant that is not trained well. Now, how do we describe this using the verb? The right choice of word to use is groomed because groomed means to prepare or train, be trained well. So option B is the correct answer to this question. Do you have better steps, explanation or solutions to any of those questions? If yes, feel free to use the comment section below. Indicate the questions and the solutions you would like to share. Question 71, choose the most appropriate option for the gap labor system above. Now, option A, underrates, option B, overrates, option C, outclasses, option D, outfits. Now, the answer to this question is outclasses. Now, in this passage, you see that the writer is trying to describe one opponent surpassing another opponent, okay, superior to another opponent, okay. And then outclasses means to be superior to someone else. So, option C, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Question 72, choose the most appropriate option for the gap labor 17 above. Option A, by knockout. Option B, by a knockdown. Option C, by a punch up. Option D, by a punch down. Now, in boxing, the correct um, diction or choice of word to use is by knockout. Okay, so see in the passage, it's trying to talk about one opponent taking down another opponent. Okay, by a punch or something. So it's called um, knockout. So option A is the correct answer to this question. Question 73. 
Choose the most appropriate option for the gap labor 18 above. Option A, drain. Option B, fatigue. Option C, damage. Option D, spray. The answer to this question is damage. Now, in this passage, we see that the writer is trying to talk about the injuries incurred by many boxers while they compete with their opponents and it is describing the breath, so it's the brain damage. Okay, that's the right choice of words to use to describe it. So option C is the correct answer to this question. Question 74, choose the most appropriate option for the gap labor 19 above. Option A, barrage. Option B, clutter. Option C, rattle. Option D, racket. Now the answer to this question is option A, barrage. Now in this part, Labored 19, we see that the writer is trying to talk about the particular spot or area on the opponent's body in which punches are directed to, okay? So the concentration in this particular spot is called barrage, okay? More like bombardment. So barrage also means bombardment, okay? The several punches directed at a particular spot on your face or your body. So option A is the correct answer to this question. Question 75. Choose the most appropriate option for the gap level 20 above. Option A, carrier. Option B, calling. Option C, vacation. Option D, routine. Now, the answer to this question is option A, carrier. Now, when you look at this part, level 20, the beginning of the sentence, it talks about many boxers who, who get brain um, damages as a result of several punches um, directed towards a particular part on their face and during the period of their career. Okay, so it gives us an overall feeling of a person's or a boxer's career. So option A is the correct answer to this question. Now we've come to the end of the segment and I believe you enjoyed it. Do not forget to click on the like button, hit on the subscribe button and tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos.